Hello everyone. My name is Akesh Kapta and I'm with Lightspeed Solutions. In this presentation, I will share with you the process to configure the multi-level menus within RSP Designer. To begin with, let's uh, open up RSP Designer and start using an existing application that was built using RSP Designer with no customizations. So we're gonna run this application, which is a very simple application, which is just for customer order entry. And based on the menu selection that we made, it basically, RSP Designer automatically puts the menus at the top, which is customer, customer has an ad, show customer, customer status, customer type, invoice, invoice status, and product category, which sounds very familiar or very similar to hopefully your product that you're building. So one of the very first thing that people talk about is I have too many menus at the top and I would like to consolidate them into more logical setup. So how do we go about it? It's actually, matter of fact, it's quite simple. If you notice, once you open up RSP Designer, there's a separate section by the name Menu Panels. Within Menu Panels, RSP Designer automatically puts the first menu as an ASCX control, menu.ASCX control, and there's one for regular applications, that are one, and there's one for mobile applications. Mobile applications are a lot easier just because mobile applications really don't have more of a multi-level. It's mainly the main applications or the web application that really need multi-level applications. There are many ways to go around it. In the latest version, RNSpeed recommends that we look at the menus uh, using the tools option, the tools menus option, and where we can say configure menu and pick which menu you would like to configure. Of course, the old methodology is still available where I can go to the menu ASCX and right click and click on configure menu. At the end, they all will lead to the same place. So let's actually take the new desired route, which is click on tools, configure menu and menu ASCX. Right away when the system opens up, it basically is opening up uh, a more of a menu editor. That is where by default, all the menu choices you saw on the screen, they are listed right here. And as you guessed it, the first level is the main header, and then there are subheaders, uh, and then there are submenu options there. So say for example, the very first thing we would like to do is we would like to build some kind of like control panel. I apologize, I should have actually slowed down a little bit, which means let's actually build a submenu. We right click on the menu site map and say, control insert new menu item. And as soon as you do that, system can show you that it inserted a new menu item, which you can change. The title could be say control panel. And at that point, whatever description you want to give, whatever image URL, which means if you want to show an image on the left side of the menu or choice, you can do that. And whatever URL. Since this menu choice will be more of a, a grouping section, I do not really have a pre any predefined URL. What I would like to do is I would like to move all my lookup tables under control panel. So I can actually go to a lookup table like customer status and drag and drop it right below the control panel with a little bit of indentation. So this way we know it is gonna be a child option of the control panel. And I can do the same thing for, for the rest, which means all the system statuses, which I would like to be part of uh, this uh, option, I can do that. Now we have to be very careful, as you can see, I kind of like accidentally dropped it under customer type, then it will become a sub menu of the customer type, but I would like to really be at a different level. So you just have to play with it a little bit, where if you, depending on how you drop it, it basically will give you enough choice so that you know it is really going under the sub menu. Sometimes this gets a little bit uh, getting used to it, and uh, then it will just go right where it belongs. So yes, unfortunately, there's no move up and move arrow key. So you have to basically go through the list of how you navigate. And I apologize, I guess I'm must having a little bit of a tough time. So as you can see, I moved the four lookup tables per se under control panel, and I can now click OK and build my application and I would like to show you what it did for us. So in reality, that's how easy it was to configure 
one level of menu into multiple levels just like we configured the second level you can configure third fourth and so on so now when i click on my uh, my application and refresh rather than seeing all the lookup tables i only see control panel within control panel you see my choices in the order it was entered of course uh, we can probably put another sub level of categories and then click on it as part of the menu there's another thing which I'm sure some of you will probably like to add or work with is that if for example we only want to show the control panel to the administrators as part of the uh, configuration of the menu the control panel once the security has security visit has been enabled the roles option right here is available to you where I can say I would like it to be assigned to only administrator so now as you can see once the security has been uh, has been enabled it means if a user has not been logged in uh, i do not want to show any kind of control panel or the user who's logged in is non-admin i do not want to show any control panel because they shouldn't be editing the lookup values so now what i did i basically went to the properties of the roles right here and i selected admins after selection of admins I can rebuild my application and if I try to refresh it control panel will not be visible anymore the reason being I'm not signed in once you sign in and only for the users who are signed in as a admin role the control panel will be visible so this was more or less uh, overview of how to configure the control panel uh, or how to configure the menus to become a multi-level of course there are many other things around it where we can actually configure more menu panels so uh, and so on but those are going to be more for the advanced stage hopefully this was clear enough and you guys uh, happen to understand how to configure the multi-level menus if you have any any question regarding multi-level menus don't forget to post your question on the iron speed forum thanks for watching and look for more